I gotta change my thing. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see if you guys are paying attention. Okay. Are you guys paying attention this time? No. Yeah. Yeah. See. All right. Class. Yes. I didn't hear your yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I know everyone's paying attention. I don't see anyone with their earbuds in or phones out, right? Because we'll get crazy up in here, right? We're just ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Put that one away. Yes. Ah. Uh. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just right there. Yeah. What the? Wait, thank you. That's all I asked. Why you gotta be like that? Anyway, cent arc, central angles, and chords. So for those people following along at home, we are on page number nine. nine. Okay, so you can go to my channel and see that we're on page number nine, right? So if you're watching this video because you missed the class of last week, okay, yours will say page number seven. Okay. Or page number five. So arc central angles and chords. A central angle is an angle whose vertex, that means where the two lines go together, is going to be right there, center of the circle, formed by two radii. Now, if we remember, the measure of BC is going to be the same as the measure of BA. All radii in a circle have the same measure. All radii in the circle have the same measure. That's supposed to be important, okay? It's almost like I said it three times, and I'll say it again. All radii in a circle have the same measure. There is going to be, it's going to be on the test later on. It is. Did you get it? Okay, good. An arc is an unbroken part of a circle formed by two radii in a central angle. Now, this is the pizza. This is the crust. There you go. Refer to it as either the pizza or the crust. The arc is just the pizza crust. Does anyone still eat that pizza crust? It's just like, has it has no flavor. I think it depends on where you get it from. Huh? Yeah, like, like, so it has no flavor. Ah, anyway. It's fine. So, the measure of an arc is equal to the measure of its central angle. The measure of an arc is equal to the measure of its central angle. Let's say, for instance, this one right here is going to be 35 degrees. That's pretty cold, isn't it? See what I did there? Hey, hey, did you guys see what I did there? 35 degrees. It's cold. Like temperature. Okay, we're, this class is going to be the longest ever. Anyway, so if my central angle here would be 35 degrees, the arc would be how much? The pizza crust is 35 degrees. So central angle is equal to the arc, always. Types of arcs. A minor arc is an arc that measures less than 180 degrees. That's really hot, isn't it? See what it is there? Did you get it that time? Okay. Now, less than 180 degrees. 180 degrees is a straight line going all the way across. 180 degrees would be from D to B. That would be the straight line. So if it's the outside half a pizza, okay, it's going to be either the top or the bottom of the circle is 180 degrees because it's 180 right here. Therefore, on the other side, it's also 180 because the whole circle is how many degrees? 300 and 360. A whole circle is 360. So, can someone give me an example of a minor arc here? A, B? Yeah. So you're saying the pizza crust from A to B? 
Yeah, good. Perfect. So A. You'll see wording like that. So they give you A and B. That one's yours? Oh, this one's mine. How dare you try to steal mine? Okay. Major arc is an arc that measures more than 180. Now, this is important. If you're using a major arc, you need to use three points because those three points right there, you need to actually go all the way past. Okay? Because on this one, if I said a major arc is AB, isn't that also the same as a minor arc? Yes. <clears throat> but instead of saying AB, what if I said ADB? ADB all the way around there, right? That would be a major arc, wouldn't it? So I can't just say AB again because that one's also a minor arc. I'm using three letters, A, D, B, to identify that there is my major arc. And please make sure you're using the symbols correctly because we're going to have line segments and arcs that are going to be using the same points, but they mean different things. So if it's an arc, you have to put the arc symbol, and if it's a line segment, you put the line symbol. Semicircle is an arc that measures exactly 180 degrees. What'd you say? DB. So, because I already have it measured up here, right? As D to B. But I also said DAB. Yes, I could have also said DAB because that's going in the other direction. Sometimes you're going to have to you're going to have to label it using different letters because you have to go a certain pathway through it. Okay. Now, let's go through and we're going to do this. One says name each of the following and find their measures. Two central angles. So, who wants the first one? Because the first one's easy. Okay, but name the angle for me. R what? The central. Remember, central angle starts at the middle, right? R O W. Very good. Because the angle is the slice of pizza right here. So that is, it's going to be angle R O W. Symbols and labeling what it is we're talking about is super important. So we have to use the angle R O W. And so that one's easy. What the measurement there is 70 degrees, right? Now, can someone give me another minor arc? R, W, R, W, G. Okay, R, W, yes. Okay, so I'm on this next one here. So R, W, it is here. And that one, what's the measurement? So the measure of RW is 70 degrees. This one's going to be like this, RWG. RWG? No, For what? That's what I do. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. So now that we have that one, that one's, that one's the easy one, right? There is another central angle that is a minor angle. Give me a central angle that is a minor angle. G what? G-O-R. Very good. So angle G-O-R. So in that straight line that it's on, 
the straight line. How much did I say that straight line is? 180, right? A straight line is 180. So I just took off 70 degrees of that a slice of pizza, right? Yeah. So if I took out 70 degrees, what's going to be left? 110. 110, good job. So it's 110 degrees right there. Because together they have to add up to 180, right? Right? Yes, you get the next question, just so you know. Do you know why? I'm not paying attention. Pay attention. Okay, this is 110 because they both together have to add up to 180. So, now, this guy, since he wasn't paying attention, a minor arc. Minor arc. Which one's a minor arc? Aquí. Mira. Esto es minor arc. So, see? Now, aquí, minor arc. Nope, we already did RW. GR, yes. Pizza crust. Very good. GR, pizza crust. Good job. See? You can do it. All right, so he said that the pizza crust measure of GR. So he said pizza crust, GR. Okay, and how much? What's the degrees? What's the degrees? 110, very good, see? 110 degrees. Now, major arcs, major arcs. All right, so there is, there's gonna be two major arcs. So I'm coming back over here somewhere, way over here. Can you give me a major arc? The one that right there, so the major, remember major has to be more than 180 and use three letters. W-R-G, that one is 180. Yeah, we are using it. Yeah, yeah, the whole circle. G, G, W, where? Can't go back in, right? Because it's just going to be the arc. So it's going to be the arc would go just pizza crust. Okay, what do you... You got the GW part. What else? You got the R, okay? That would be all the way around here, right? So just the pizza crust on GWR. All right, there we go. So we have GWR. GWR. And what is it? I almost heard it. 111? No. Okay. So, how much is this piece of crust? So, half, half would be 180, right? So, half is 180. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, half is 180. So, from G to W is 180. And then we added this little piece, right? Yeah, so it's 180 plus, yeah, which gives me 150. Good job. All right, so we get 250 for that one. So we went and color coordinate this so we can get this one here. So we went from G to W all the way up to R. So this one down here is 180 exactly. So 180 plus the 70 is my 250. There you go. Now, I'm gonna need someone else to give me a major arc. I got you earlier, hold on, hold on. I'm coming back here. Yes, this guy. RGW, very good, RGW.
All right. What do you think that the measure of RGW is going to be? So R to G to W. It's 290. Okay, so it's 180 down here, right? From G to W is 180, right? And I'm adding another 110. So 180, add 110. 190. It's 290. 290? 490. 290. 290. 190? What is 90? I said it. No, no, I see 290. 19? 90. Okay, 90. Is that what you guys are saying? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't hear very well. All right, so we get 290. So this is going to be 290 degrees. All right, and... Okay, since I haven't picked on you yet, where's the answer? You said G O W. That's the line, right? I only want the crust. I only want the crust. Because so, G O W is the angle, I want just the crust. G W. Okay? Just G W right there. Because a semicircle is half a circle. So that's 180. So it's just going to be, in this case, G to W. If we would have went the other way, we could have said G R W. But you are correct. G W. So it's going to be measure of G W is 180. All right. How do you guys feel about that? Is that pretty good? Yes. Good job. There we go. You're going to say, can I get it? Say what and hit him? Why would I hit him? No, he said, can I get this? Get this? Say yes. He said yes. No, no. He said no? no. Okay. No. He said no or yes? All right. You people right now, I would like to see you people on your own try this, and then we're going to do it together in a minute. You guys are going to do example two on your own right now, and then we are going to do it together. So he said no. No, can I get this? Get this? What's this? Yes or no. That one. Oh, you want a pencil? He said it. He said he wants a pencil. Yeah. Did you give him a pencil? It's not mine. Does he still need a pencil? No. Right. Do the problem. Do the problem. Yes. Example two. Those. Do those. You got this. Come on. You can do it. Not the major. The major is going to ask for you. 
miners could just go in here. That's why it was kind of weird, right? So, so miners could just go in here. <laughs> Zoning out. You are you good? Are you stop? Tied in? All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look up here now. So on this problem here. I need to identify a couple things because I need to find the missing values. From here to here is how much? That's 180, right? Okay. From here to here is also 180, isn't it? Okay, so if I know that that one right there goes all the way through, that one's 180, right? This piece is how much? 97. So the other side over here has to add up to what? You said 93? 83. It's going to be 83. Yes, you've got to turn your head that way. Why can't you just pay attention? Uh, don't make me go get Hatcher right now. Okay. This one's going to be 83 because both of these together are half a circle and need to add up to 180. There we go. All right, using that same information there, this one is also a straight line that goes through there, right? So from here to here is also 180. So can I find my missing slice that someone stole of my pizza that I left in the fridge for myself later on? Okay, it was my pizza. Someone just decided they're going to take a slice. Me. Yeah, he was that guy. He was Big Mac. Okay, so all three angles together have to add up to 180, right? So, 180 minus 97 minus 52. Thirty one. 31 or 21? 31. 31. That one's going to be 31. And this one over here is how much? 97. So using the diameters or the semicircle, I was able to actually find all my missing parts, right? So by finding all my missing parts, I can now go through and find the pieces they're looking for. So from A to D... I'll use this color. Okay, so from A to D is the minor arc that they're looking for. If it was a major arc, they would be using three. So right there, from A to D is going to be 149. Very good. 149 degrees. B to D, again, minor arc with two. B to D is this way. So that's going to be my 31 and my 97, which is going to be 128. Very good. Find the measure of A, F, B. So A to F to B. So remember, the central angle is the same as my pizza crust. So that one's going to be 83. 
Ah. There we go. 83 degrees. All right. How do you guys feel about that? Yes? Hopefully? Okay. So, this is what you people are going to do. File. Import. Ah, okay. All right, I will pull it up here in a second. You guys are going to start working on page number eight as your practice. Make sure you all like, share, and subscribe.